A perfect relationship isn't perfect. It's just that both people never gave up. Food for Soul and Goa co-working present today's readings and reflection. May 28th, 2022. Saturday of the sixth week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and, with ardent spirit, spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, God is King of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God is King of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth, he is supreme. God is King of all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. I came from the Father and have come into the world, now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father, and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection on Today's Readings By Bob The mission of the Church keeps going. It begins with God's love, love which has become incarnate in Jesus, love which reaches out to others through the caring service of those who have experienced God's love. It is a virtuous, good, godly, circle rather than the vicious, evil, cycle. Examples of the vicious cycle are so obvious in the world today. In today's first reading, St. Paul sets out on his third missionary journey. We also hear how Apollos, a Jewish scripture scholar, proclaims the coming of the Messiah, but did not have a personal experience of Jesus while he walked on the earth. Some of St. Paul's friends, Achaia and Priscilla, share with Apollos the full good news of Jesus. Apollos easily accepts the gospel message since it fits with his understanding of Hebrew scriptures. 
Apollos then goes on to proclaim to the Jews that the Hebrew scriptures point to the fact that the Messiah, the Christ, is Jesus. In the Gospel, Jesus continues his Last Supper discourse. Once again reassuring his followers that whatever they ask of the Abba Father will be granted if they ask in his name. He speaks of his intimate connection with his Abba. Jesus talks about the positive circle of love that originates in the Godhead. As I reflect on the readings I was thinking about how different people come into the knowledge and experience of God's love. For some, like Apollos and one of the members of our Bible study, it comes first from a person's intellectual search for meaning in life and in the written word of God. For other it comes as a result of people sharing their personal experience of a loving Abba and caring brother, both of whom happen to be the one God, in unity with the Holy Spirit. What is the implication of all this for my life? I sense that I must be both a person of the Word and a person who is willing to care for others so that they may experience the love of God through me. As a person of the Word, I must reflect regularly on God's Word. As I have been doing this over the last few decades, rereading passages that I have read many times, I realize I have a new understanding of the Word. The more I reflect on the Word, the more insights I get into the God who has been revealed through the Word. I sometimes amaze myself as I see connections between the scripture I read and other aspect of my faith and of my life and the lives of others. I feel like slapping my palm against my forehead and saying, duh. So that's what that means. I am also excited that I can share my insights with others through modern technology. Reaching friends and acquaintances some of whom I haven't been able to physically spend time with for a while or at all. I praise God for allowing us to share the word and the reflections on the word via the internet. I give thanks to people throughout the world whom I touch with my sharing on the word. I thank the Lord Jesus for allowing me to be an instrument in the proclamation of good news. The other implication of today's reading for me is the challenge to care for others and provide an environment in which they and I can come into a closer relationship with the loving and caring God. I have found that I am enriched as I minister and serve others at home, at work, and in the community even as I did during the pandemic through virtual connections. I have been strengthened in my living out God's call to allow them to know God through my loving care. I am blessed as I pray for others, even those whom I haven't seen in years or never met personally, but for whom God brings to my mind to pray. I feel united with others who are journeying along the path to the house of our loving Abba who happens to be God. I may not be able to physically walk along with them, but we are united in the word, in thought, in prayer, and in the spirit, in the love of God. God truly blesses us as we live out the gift of faith which God has given to us. We are empowered to live in a way that shows we are accepting the gift of salus, salvation, healing, wholeness, holiness, that God has given us. Again, we don't earn our salus, salvation, that is pure gift. We live lives of doing good in response to the salus we have received from a loving, caring, and saving God. We want others to experience the gifts we have received. Our faith in God's love are not something to be kept to ourselves, but items we want to pass on. And in passing it on, we are given even more faith and love. That's the virtuous cycle of God's love. That's the process in which we have been invited to participate. Praise God! The personal question slash action for today. How much time do I spend on reflecting on the Word of God? What more can I do to be a person of the Word? 
How can I share my experience of the Lord Jesus with other? What can I do today slash tomorrow to provide an atmosphere in which others can come into a closer relationship with God by experiencing the love which comes from God and God's word and flows through me and others? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, ever loving, through your goodness, you continue to bless us in so many ways. You desire that your good news reach out to all peoples in all times. You have provided many paths through which people come to know you. The best way, the only real, full way, that you have given to us to come to you, is your Son, who is the way, the truth, and the life. He has promised that whatever we ask for in his name, you will give us, especially as we help others draw closer to you. We thank you for allowing us to be a part of the announcing of your good news. May we continue to appreciate your gifts and give you thanks and praise. May we always be instruments of your good news to those around us. We ask this in Jesus' name, since he promised that you and he would give us whatever we ask for in his name, for he is our Lord and Master, he is your Son and our Brother, who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Presented by Father Frankie Fernandez OFM Capuchin Justice Peace Integrity Creation JPIC Capuchin Goa